Hello, I'm David Pagan Butler and today I'm just going to show you um, really the allies that are in your pond to make it clean. Normally I'm going on and on about filters and how they uh, take out nutrients from the water and keep the algae at bay. But in actual fact, it's the little tiny zooplankton that do most of the filtration in a natural pool. So you just have to be aware that they're there and they're your friends and you've got to look after them. Now, I've got a pool I'm working on uh, somewhere else. Uh, someone's asked me to convert a conventional pool and we're halfway through it and um, it's gone alarmingly green. Now, alarmingly for the owners, but for me, I'm pretty relaxed about it. But in order to accelerate the biological activity of that pond, I'm going to introduce some of those friendly zooplankton from my pond to their pond and that will get it up and running a lot quicker. So I've got this. Now this is my son's um, plankton net. Um, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's basically a child's toy but it's actually remarkably effective at gathering plankton or in this case the plankton is what I'm calling zoo, zoo plankton. Uh, Daphnia and Cyclops are in the pond. Anyway, let's give it a go. Now, it doesn't look like you've got anything because you can't really see them in the water. But in the bottom there, there are loads of them. Daphnia graze on suspended single-celled algae and that's the stuff that makes the water green and opaque. Adding Daphne from my pool is just accelerating what would happen to this pool naturally. After a few weeks, the Daphne have multiplied and the water is clearing. When the plants are added and the Daphne friendly bubble circulation system is also working, we now have multiple factors maintaining the water. The organic pool is working with nature and our Daphne.